Hello everybody, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Welcome to part five of the tiger tutorial. So far you should have done parts one through four and have your tiger pretty much split in half, but he's almost there. Um, in this portion, we are actually going to be tying him together um, and we are doing, going to be doing the tail and the wiring as well. So first thing we wanna connect his back together so he's not like split in half. So we're gonna turn him upside down like this, open them up, and you want to pull out all your loose bands. Okay. You have the loose bands only on the one side, and what we're going to do is we're going to go through the bands on the opposite side. So, for example, I'm going to go through, you have the two black bands right here, I'm going to go through the top of the next set of bands. So, an orange and a mango band. You're going to pull the mango band through those, okay? Then you're going to go through the two black right next to that, pull through the orange, or pull the orange through, go through the next set, pull through the, the mango band. We're going to do this all the way down. Make sure the bands stay pulled through. Uh, this part is the shoulder, so we want to go through this set here, and we want to grab the orange here pulling that through this part is a little tricky because this is the shoulder alright then we're gonna go through the black pull the mango band through so you know what to do you're just going down each section and pulling down the pulling the next band through Make sure they stay pulled through. Right here, pulling through, I believe it's the orange. Okay, you know the colors alternate, so that should make it a little bit easier finding the right one. Unless you did a white tiger. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You'll do fine. You'll do fine. Okay, so this is going to take some time because we want to be very careful. Okay. Keep going back and pulling them. There. Singing the song of angry men. It is the music of a people who not be slaves again. Alright, um, yes, I sing a lot in my tutorials. I don't I try not to, but I'm so used to listening to music when I work that the silence is like deafening and I'm like, oh, I need music. I'll just provide the music. <laughs> All right, uh, so pull them all through. Look, I have a loose band there. Figures messed up somewhere along the way. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start up here at the, where should I start at the bottom? Let's start at the bottom. I'm gonna grab the orange band at the bottom. You're gonna put your fingers through it, then you're gonna grab the next orange band. Fingers through, grab the next orange, so you're leaving the mangoes. Grab the orange, grab the orange, Grab the orange, grab the orange, grab the orange. Now we're going to grab the mango at the top, then we're going to grab, go back down the row, grabbing all the mangoes. Okay, once we've grabbed the last one, I'm going to grab a C clip or an S clip, doesn't matter. 
I'm going to go through random bands in the back here. Make sure you don't poke through the body though. And you're just going to pull that mango band through and you're going to see clip it. Where did I just put that thing? There it is. So you just see clip it. Alright, and just let it sit there. And then you can fold the body back and pull the shoulders up a little bit. Cool. And yes, his legs are hanging out a little bit. We can kind of fix that later. Yeah. Or can we fix that now? We'll fix that after we do the tail. Okay, so let's do his tail now. So I'm going to put him aside for a moment. He's looking better and better. Yay. All right, so you kind of guess the length of the tail. If we need to make it longer, we can totally do that. I am taking three bands at a time. So I'm going to take black. Then I'm going to be doing two mangoes and an orange. Okay, then three black. And three black again. If you also want to do double looped bands instead of um, triple bands, you can try that too, though like, the tail will be very thin if you do that, but whatever. Two oranges and a mango, two mangoes and an orange. I'm just kind of alternating here. Then I'm going to take three blacks. So you can find, kind of put the stripes on the tail wherever you want. Two oranges and a mango. Then two black again. I mean three black. Sorry. Three black again. Then two mangoes and an orange. Then I'm going to take two black here and then two black here, like that. I'm going to take my tiger and let's see how this works. He's right side up. I'm going to attach the two loose ends to these two pegs, so we want to go through all six loops on this side. Those go around this peg, and this side go around this peg. Okay. You want to learn the diagonal bands first, then these two, and we just want to loom up now. Okay. Take this off. Oh, ooh, I love him. Let's see. I'm going to make the tail one, two, three, four, five, six, eight longer. I have five longer in my diagram, but I'm going to make it a little bit longer. So, for the tip of the tail, I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. So, I'm going to grab four black here and four black again. Then I'm going to do, let's see, let's do two oranges and a mango, then two mangoes and an orange, then I'm going to do black again, so three black, then um, two oranges and a mango. Okay, then two mangoes, two oranges and a mango, then let's do black. We'll make a big stripe on his tail. So three black, three black. Great, attach that loose end right around here, and just loom up the rest of the way. And he shall be adorable. Okay, when I reach the end, I'm going to take 
I'm going to take two black bands and I'm going to tie off the end here. Right, pull him off. He's adorable. Um, I'm going to go into the tail, I'm going to go up it, and I'm going to pull those black bands through the tail. Like that. So he's got a little cute little tail end. Just pull off the purple bands here. Whoops. His name shall be Squishy, and he shall be mine, and he shall be my Squishy. <laughs> he is kind of squishy, actually. Take that off. Get off. <clears throat> okay. Oh my gosh, he's so adorable. Ah! I, have no, I had no idea what this guy was going to look like when I was done. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's so cute. Okay, so we're going to wire him up, and then we're going to do his tummy, okay? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love him. I absolutely love this thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's get some wire. So like I said before, 16 gauge coated wire. I am going to stick it um, through, let's see. I definitely want it through the legs. So let's do that first. That way his back legs aren't sprawled out funny. If we put wire through, we can bend them down, which is which will be great. Okay, so let's do that. So, sticking it through. I'm gonna go through. I'm not gonna go through the base of the foot because this is actually bendable on its own. So I don't need to go through that part. I'm gonna start going through here. And pretty much all we're doing is just sticking the wire up through the center of the leg as best you can when it gets difficult to push through, this is what we do. So I pushed it all the way through the leg. Now I'm gonna work from this point. So I'm gonna stretch the body, stick the wire through so it's not sticking up through the top. Stick the wire through, <laughs> take my teeth and pull it out a little bit. Then we're gonna go through the other leg. So when it gets hard to push through, you're gonna push it through, you're gonna push it back out, then you're gonna pull it out with your teeth, pull the body, push it through more. Pull it out with your teeth, stretch the body, push it through more. Pull it out with your teeth, stick it through. And again, on this side, I don't want it to go through the foot, so I'm going to end here, same point where I ended on the other side. So stick it through, we're going to bend it back on itself, maybe about half an inch. Then you're going to stick it back into the leg through a different point, okay, just like that. It might stay, it might not. And then you're gonna stretch it out so it's not overly stretched. And then you're gonna take your wire cutters and you're gonna cut it about half an inch from the other side where it's sticking out. Oh gosh, getting all sticky. Pull it back a little bit, bend it, and stick it back through this leg pull out. Okay, so now his back legs aren't so sprawled out because they're bendable now. So we can make him sit or whatever. All right, going through the front legs, let's do the same thing. Again, I'm not going through the paw. I'm going through this point here. So just stick it through the middle as best you can. This is actually easy to stick through compared to the dragons. I don't know why, but it just is. It just is. Again, pull it through. Pull it out with your teeth slightly. Pull the body. Stick it through more. Make sure it's not sticking out the back of him. And same thing. So, through this set of legs too. Again, pulling it out with your teeth. Sticking it in. Again, pushing it out, pulling it out with your teeth, pulling the body, sticking it. Every time I pull it off screen, I'm pulling it, I'm biting it and pulling it out. Alright, and again, 
pushing it through the end. Okay, bending it back in on itself. Sticking it through another point in the leg. Stretching out the legs so they're not squished. Cutting the other end about half an inch. Pushing the foot down slightly, bending it, and sticking it back through. I might want to cut this a little more. Try to hide it. For some reason, mine just doesn't want to hide in there very well. You don't want it with the wire poking out because if little kids are playing with it, then they'll hurt themselves. Warning, warning. I see how it's sticking out there. Don't let it do that. Hide it in the bands. Okay, so yeah, now he's wired, or his legs are wired. Um, you can wire his back too if you want to, but it's kind of pointless to do that because he's bendable enough as it is. Oh, look, he can lay. Oh. Okay, guys, so let's do his tummy. Ooh. I think I said we were going to do that in the next video, but we might as well do it now. So, let me just count how many rows I'm going to need for this. Um, what did I do? I did 12 plus 16, 17. Let me just count for a moment. All right, we're going to start with what I did here, and then we'll add more food, too. Okay, so just follow me here, guys, and we're going to do his tummy. So we're going to need our white for the tummy, and just follow me. I'm going to take off two rows off my loom, because I only need four. Cool, we are leaving it in rectangle. So, two white followed by... Two black, two black, two white, two black, two white, two white, two black. Okay, because they do have some stripes on their stomach too. It's pretty cute. Okay, white all the way across. White, white, white. Oops, white, 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 white. I always end up throwing my C-clips away. Anybody want some C-clips? I have like a million of them. Alright, white. Black. Black. White. One, two, three, four, five. And then black. White. White and black. Okay, and white. 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 This is actually glow in the dark. I never buy white pans, I always buy glow in the dark. I think the glow in the dark actually cracks easier than the white. Like the double looped glow. Always seems to be the first to go. <laughs> but I'm working on a solution for that. I think I have a solution for cracking bands. But I'm not 100% sure yet, so I'll let you know if it works, and if it does, then you'll know what to, what to buy to keep your bands together. Okay. 
Okay, uh... Um, let's think here. I am going to do... Okay, I'm just going to put two bands across here and cap off one of the corners. Let's cap off this corner. Wrapping the band around four times. Let's do our horizontals. So just taking two white bands at a time, stretching it across. Okay, here we got to do double loop single. Okay. And, as usual, we are going to be putting bands on the outside for our stomach attachment. So, do, 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 do. to make them extra secure, I'm actually going to put a band on every peg. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay my mangoes on every other peg. Whoops. So you may need a few extra bands than what I said in the beginning. Alright, and then we want to do our oranges. This will just make the stomach extra tight, which is good. Kind of like how we did the back. Hmm. Okay, so. Alright, let's begin looming. So go under your capping man, grab the top two, and loom them over. Oh my gosh! Roar! Whatever, I'm gonna fix those as I go. Let's go up this side. <laughs> Can't believe that just happened. No! Stay on! Go under, grab the two diagonals, and those. Okay, uh, let's go up this side. Get back on there, sir. Oh, man. I like to talk to myself. I'm a crazy person. You know what? Lift up these two. Lift up these two horizontals. We're going to put up two more horizontals across here. Like that. Then replace the mango here and the orange here. Yay. Okay, I'll make it easier later. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to go up this row here. Anything to make our lives easier, right guys? <laughs> Alright, so, taking my pink band, tying off my four ends, if the loose band on the end gets all funky like mine. It's fine. He's so cute. 
Thank you. Little timer. Definitely post pictures on the Facebook page if you made like a, a panther or anything other than a tiger with this design, because I'd love to see. We're going to have to extend this stomach a little bit, just so you know. Okay. I'm pulling all my bands outward to the outside. Four. I'm just going to see how this looks on here. Awesome. All right, so we have to extend the stomach a tad bit more. It's gonna be, let's see, five, six, six more. Yeah, I pretty much had it right almost on here. All right, so we're gonna take two whites. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So two whites going diagonally like this. That is on the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh peg in this row, diagonally this direction. All right, uh, then two whites here, two whites here, here. We want this. This is his butt, so this has to be skinny. We don't want him to have a big butt. So wait, one, two, three. Four. I'm gonna go down four. So three. Oh, this one we want black. Actually, it's probably not a good idea to put black there. <laughs> Let's not put black there, guys. We're gonna keep it white. If you get what I mean. <laughs> yeah. All right. So four. And then, let me just check this again. Whoops, we are going. One, one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, whatever. All right, now we're just going outward now. So, um, actually here, yeah, okay, so two here. Let's, yeah, never mind. two here. Let's do just white. We're not going to put any black in now. White here, white here. Uh, two whites going overstretched. All right, and two here. Same thing on the other side. So overstretching your white. And here. All right, um, horizontals, so two whites across here. Then we want to double loop all the way up here. So here. And here. And here. And here. Okay. Um, grab the other part of your stomach. Um, okay, so we're going to face it so it's curving up. Not like it matters. Um, stick your hook through. We're attaching the four loose ends to these four pegs. You know what we're doing. So just make sure you follow the tying band through. Wrapping the bands around the pegs. Okay, make sure you get the loose band around there as well. And the last set, which is the tricky set because it is a it is very tight. Get it? I think so. Yeah, I'm gonna take the pink band off so I know what I'm doing here. I'm gonna take that mango band off too and re-put it on. Fix it. Don't worry what I, about what I'm doing. I'm just putting those bands around the peg, but I'm doing it in a different, weird way, so I do it right. 
Okay, and then I'm just going to replace that mango band underneath. Oops. Okay, so now we're going to put the rest of our loose bands on. So grabbing mangoes, we're putting mango here and here and here and here and wait, why is that like that? Whatever. I'm um, sorry. I'm a perfectionist here. Mango here and here. And that'll be tied off with whatever. All right. Uh, orange here and orange here and orange here. Orange here. And yeah, perfect. All right. So let's go up. We're going to go up this side first. So grabbing the bottom two white bands. Warming them up, grabbing the diagonals. What in the world? Okay, now we want to go up this row. By the way, I am planning on doing a baby tiger at some point, too, so you can have a little family. That would be cute, right? That would be so cute. A little family of tigers. Okay, uh, now I'm going to go up this side, so all the way over here. Okay. Okay, and here I'm going to tie off with a mango and an orange, just because I'm perfectionist and I don't want to have a weird ending color here. All right. Okay, cool. We can pull off the pink bands around here. Okay, and pulling all the loose bands to the outside, and grabbing your tiger, hopefully this is long enough, we're going to place him upside down, the end with the tied bands, we're going to put that at the bottom, okay, so the bands that are tying it off are going to go at the bottom, the rest are at the top, so this we are meeting right up to the end here, and all right, well, it pretty much goes to the end, but it's good enough, right? Okay. All right, so this is stomach attachment. Obviously, you know what I'm doing if you've done this with me before. Um, I'm just going to move my legs outward so I can see what I'm doing. So, this is probably the most tedious part of the whole project. We are, this is difficult, we are laying this on top, trying to line it up as best we can under the chin, and we want to pull the loose bands through the body. So however you want to do that, just, oh, this is going to be really difficult. Unless I can do it, no, we don't, we don't want him to be fat, so don't, push the stomach, don't attach it so the stomach's on the inside of the body. Try to do it so it's above and so that he's not too chunka, too chunky. All right, so take your time with this. Let's go through the black set of bands, pulling the mango through. Um, actually, let's go through the white. Pull it through that. Okay, all right. So I got my first band through. So just take your time. Um, what I'm, what I want to do is I want to pull it through the edge bands. So I don't want to pull it through the in, like I don't want to pull it. For example, 
I don't want to go through these bins. I want to go through the ones on the edge. Okay, get what I mean? So not on the inside, on the edge. So, here, the edge, the edge here. edge here. Every set of bands should have something pulled through. Oops. Let's work on one side at a time so we don't stress ourselves out. So, you don't have to do it exactly as I'm doing it, as long as the bands are pretty much going through bands that are underneath, it's fine. Roar! Oh my. Roar. You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, I just ruined it all. I'm going to actually pull the bands through the outside edge. Then the stomach will be more visible. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do, guys. All right. Hope you don't mind that I just changed everything. Oh, well. <laughs> Anyway, once you get them all through, you can skip ahead to the next part. But I'm just going to go nice and slow. Oops. You shouldn't need to see exactly what I'm doing. Because you should know what you're doing. Go through! Orange. Mango. Maybe I'll put a note in the video so you know to skip ahead so you don't waste all your time. Like I just did. <laughs> Pull them through the outside of the bands. This should make the stomach hopefully more visible from the side of him, because you do kind of see some white on their stomachs from the side. Oh wait, that's not right. Mango. Then orange. Looks like we have two more on this side. So we're grabbing the mango. Roar. Okay, so I pulled through everything on that side. Um, I'm going to pull them um, through. I'm going to loop them now so that... Oh, and then let's grab the mango for this side again. So just going through the um, final set here. Pulling through the mango band. The end. Erg. 
I'm a perfectionist, sorry. Okay, so I pulled out through half the bands. So he, he looks fat from the side. I'm going to take the orange bands and I'm gonna loom them. So grab the orange, finger through, grab the next orange, fingers through, grab the next orange, fingers through, grab the next orange. Whoops. We're doing this all the way around. Fingers through, next one, fingers through, next one, fingers through, next one, fingers through. Um, once we get to here, I'm going to do the mangoes. So let's do the mangoes now. So grab the first mango, fingers through, grab the second mango, fingers through. Third mango, fourth mango, fifth mango. He looks so fat. Sixth mango, seventh mango, last mango. Okay, so we have two bands here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up the stomach area and I'm just gonna go through some bands in here. Um, in the stomach, kind of close to the edge. So just go through some of the top bands there, doesn't matter which ones. Pull those two bands through and secure that with a C clip. Four. Okay. All right, so now we're going to work on the other side, same thing. Tiger guy, I love him. <laughs> so, we don't want to forget the band at the top because I didn't do that one yet. If you did that, it's fine. But I didn't do that yet, so I'm going to do that one now. Ah. Why are you being difficult? Okay. All right, so same thing. Remember to pull it through the outside. So not through the center, not through the inside, through the outside. So the outside pair, pull the orange through. Okay. Go to the next set, pull the mango through. Next set, pull the orange through. Next set, pull the mango through. Next set, pull the orange through. Next set, pull the mango through. Roar. Next set, pull the orange through. I like saying roar. <laughs> Make sure they're all pulled through nice and nice and good. Next set mango. Get through. Okay, this orange. Next. Very good chance of them slipping out here. But try not to let them. Hmm. Get out of there, buddy. Okay. Next set, mango. He's fat. He looks like he just had his lunch. Or he had too many lunches. <laughs> Next set, mango slipped back through. 
Okay. Um, yeah. Can you stay through, please? I'm getting mad at it now. And then, the last but not least set here. Mingo. Or not last but least. I thought it was, but it's not. Oh my gosh, he has like a... <laughs> he has like <laughs> a hole in his butt. <laughs> We're gonna fix that, guys. Alright, so I'm gonna start with the mango. Grabbing the mango. <laughs> he can he can go to the bathroom, guys. Squeezable tiger. <laughs> um yeah, some of them are slipping back through. Please don't do that to me. I just love how fun this is when I don't even know how it's gonna turn out. All right, holding that with my finger. Let's do the orange now. And we have one more orange here at the end. <laughs> His butt! I can't get over how funny this is. Okay, um, let's pull that through these. So, okay, um, I'm trying to figure out how we can fix that because that's just too hilarious. Actually, you know, it's very realistic. If you just bend the legs down, it just looks like a normal tiger rear end. But before we do that, um, I'm going to... This is so inappropriate. Go into, <laughs> go inside like I did with the other side and pull or stick my hook through a bunch of the bands. Uh, pulling those two through those random bands inside. C clipping it. Oh my gosh, this is too funny. I'm sorry guys, I totally didn't mean for this to be inappropriate at all. <laughs> like, this is just hilarious. I love it. Oops. Ah! You can actually stick things into his stomach as if he ate them. <laughs> Aw, there he is, guys. There is your beautiful tiger. Tiger, you can just kind of squeeze his rear end like that. Um... He's chunky. He's like a chunk, chunka hunka. But that's okay, because tigers are pretty fat anyway. Um, but yeah, so, you can stand. You can have him sit. Okay, you can have him lay down with his cute little tiger pose. Whatever you want to do, guys. Alright. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I think he turned out pretty cute. And he's flat, but that's fine, because tigers are supposed to be like that. Okay. If you think he looks too chunky, you can actually redo the stomach by pulling the bands through the inside instead of the outside. Okay? So that is totally up to you if you want to redo that. Because you just have to undo the C-clips and pull the stomach off and redo it. Okay? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you enjoy your adult tiger. Eventually, I will probably be doing a baby one. So, yeah, enjoy everybody, and I will see you for the next tutorial. Tell me my thing froze on me. <laughs> yeah, it did. Figures. Okay, everybody, so definitely post pictures of him on the Facebook page in the description. And especially if you made a panther or something other than a tiger, if you made a white tiger, I'd love to see that as well. Okay, so I will see you soon for the next tutorial. Enjoy your tiger.